Hey there guys, in today's video I just wanted to do a really quick gear review on this little piece of equipment. It's called the pellet pen. If any of you have a brake barrel pellet gun or even some breech loading pellet guns, this makes it a lot easier to reload. Rather than having an open container like this that houses the pellets or even something like this that you have to kind of fumble around for and then orient the pellet in the right direction before you put it in, this little thing makes it a lot easier to reload. All you have to do is put pellets in beforehand and then you can just slide the pellet out individually just with the little click of the pen. Just as an example, I can show you on my brake barrel pellet gun here. All you have to do is line the pen up with the hole and then just click once, and then you have a pellet loaded into the barrel. If you're actually going to be doing target practice with a pellet gun, it's going to be a lot easier to have like 20 ready to go pellets as opposed to just a couple that are scattered about. Then you have to orient them in the right direction, put them in by hand. And the same process can also be done on some breech loading pellet guns, and I say some just because I don't know if it'll work for every single one. But on this Daisy 880 rifle that I have, you can just insert it at an angle and pop one in, and it's headed in the right direction. You just have to close the breech, and you're ready to go. One thing that I should mention is that you should be really careful about clicking the pen only once to pop out one pellet. It can be really easy to accidentally pop out two pellets and then you have two in the barrel and those can go downrange together, might hit each other on the way down, might scrape up the inner barrel. And that's something I've accidentally done before and I just wanted to let you guys know so you can avoid it. Now the pen that I'm showing you guys in this video is meant to hold 20 of these .177 caliber hunting pellets. You can use other pellets if you want. It's probably going to hold a little bit more or less depending on how long each of the pellets is. If any of you guys are using .22 caliber pellet guns, you can also find pellet pens for that caliber. I think that is going to be about it for today's video though. If you want to learn more about the pellet pen or pick up one for yourself, I'll have a link in the description down below. And as usual, I'll have some videos on the right here if you're looking for more to watch and links to those videos down in the description below as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.